that's funny. Don't you hate when you're recording, you forgot to set the mic on? I got my GoPro 10 here. And um, I, I forgot I got the uh, go-to mics. <laughs> and I forgot to plug the mic in. So I decided to uh, let me just check because something was wrong here. Anyway, fat fingers, push all the buttons you don't have to, that you don't volunteer to move. So anyway, getting back, where was I? Oh yeah, this year I contemplated buying a new wheel. But Bogoti went out of control with that many wheels they got, and I wasn't very happy with the reviews. So I said, all right, I'm contemplating to buying a new wheel this year. And I've waited for the Emotion for a while to come out. I realized that's a big, heavy wheel. Though I live on the first floor, but it is a heavy wheel. And I'm, you know, 100 something pounds, it's a little out of, I'm already pushing 77 pounds with the Sherman with all the junk on it, probably about 80 pounds. So just imagine the V13, let's just say. Just imagine the V13, that's 110, 116 pounds. That's a heavy wheel. Now as a cruising wheel, that's mostly what I do cruising, but I really wanted a range wheel with suspension. That was the wheel I was waiting for until I saw the price. So I said, if I'm gonna invest on, you know, $4,000, then let me see what other wheels coming out. And I was waiting on Leaper Kim to come out, and they finally came out with the Sherman S suspension. Well, that stole my heart. One, because it's a 20 inch wheel, where the V13 is a uh, 22 inch wheel. Two, the price is not significantly different, a, couple, a little over 100 bucks difference. So the, I'm gonna touch the $4,000 price, so might as well go for the suspension with range. Right now, there's not a lot of information on it, but hopefully that's the, they have information on it soon. So, I'm definitely not gonna buy it this year, 2022, because it's coming out, being shipped from China to the US. To the US on no, after November, end of November. So you probably won't see it till the beginning of the year anyway. Two, I don't normally buy batch one. I'll buy batch two and forward. So my V11, it's a batch three. Super wheels, those two years with me. I love the wheel. This one is a batch three. This is the one when the Sherman I got is the one they fixed all the problems they had initially with the rims breaking, tires going flat and all that stuff. So this has a three inch rim and all the good stuff on it. So it's got all the updates. So, but for now, I'm gonna wait till next year to decide if I'm gonna buy a wheel or not. If I'm not, listen, I got two wheels and I'll just go with that. But, you know, that's a pretty, pretty price to put on, uh, on the wheel. $4,000, we're losing track. You know, I guess we asked for it. We asked for it, you know, give me a second. Uh, okay, I guess we asked for the wheels the way we wanted them. Spike wheels, spike pedals, knobbies and straight tires, range, big tires, big motors. But as you know, anything you request bigger costs more money. So yes, the electric unicycle companies are hearing us. But long and behold, we, we're going to get what we're going to pay for. And these prices are not nothing control compared to what they were just a little year ago which a year ago, the Sherman was the most expensive wheel until the Commander came out. If you know, non-suspension wheel, that was this. And that was $4,000, and I don't think that ever sold. I never rode one, never, never even see one. But from the reviews, I've, I've learned that it's a very good wheel, but it's pricey. You know, later on, you get the uh, Sherman, you know, that was the one that was cutting off um, Abrams. That's another one that, I thought I was gonna get, but I realized it's a mod, big, big wheel. So here we go. You know, I, I don't really want big wheels. 20 inches for me is enough. 22, I think, is pushing it. It just get the center of gravity gets higher. The taller the wheel, the harder you're gonna have. Well, you can always make the tire, the wheel nimble to yourself, but the harder it's gonna be making turns and trying to recover to the higher speeds. And that's scary for me. Give me one second. So. I've decided this year, 2022, I'm just gonna ride and enjoy my Sherman and my V11. As you know, in my other videos, I'm practicing how to ride, sitting down in my V11, which I got it down packed. Not perfect, but I got it down packed to uh, continue practicing on the sitting down. 
I tried it at my Sherman, it was good. But I don't have the banana seat. I have that seat that came with it, a small half seat. You're going on reverse. As soon as you sit on it, you're going backwards. You know, you can find a happy medium, but it just doesn't work. So I'll be investing on the banana seat type, you know, long seat to ride my Sherman and uh, enjoy the rides, my longer rides better. Instead of walking, I can just sit down and enjoy the ride, riding, sitting down, and I uh, will take it from there. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of this day here riding my Sherman across town. And um, we'll talk soon. Took a nice break, rest my feet, my back, <laughs> my heels. Now I'm back on the road. Um, like I was saying before, it looks like I'm gonna contemplate buying a new wheel next year. So I have no intentions of buying anything in 2022. So I'm gonna continue to enjoy my uh, V11 and my Sherman. And then uh, we'll take it from there. My content is going to be less and less here through the winter until I, until I buy me that new Sherman S, but we'll see. 